Hey guys, how's it going? Onion Man here. And today I'm gonna show you guys actually my uh, controller collection. I have probably, I'd say over 20 controllers. So uh, let's take a look. So let's start with uh, some Xbox controllers. We're gonna start off with the original Xbox first and then work our way up towards the Xbox One. Uh, first thing, we got is actually two black original Xbox S controllers. Let's take off the cord here so you can see it properly. This was the controller they made after people complained about the Duke being too big. So it's the smaller size and I have, I have a second one as well. But yeah, they're, uh, they're actually fairly comfortable in hand. I heard rumors that they're bringing this controller back or something. I'm not sure exactly, but that'd be kind of interesting. But yeah, it's... Uh, besides the button placement of compared to like the Xbox One controller, just getting used to it, other than that, it's actually quite comfortable. So, that's those. I actually have a red, a red controller that's an S controller as well which is actually just under some of these other ones here. Yeah, there's a red one here. Only thing about this one is uh, this is a knockoff. This is not a true original Xbox one. Let's see, you can tell in the middle it doesn't have the logo, it's just green. And then also this joystick is a little finicky, it's really worn down and I think it sticks a little bit. Nope, top one sticks. This one's worn out, but it still functions fine and this one likes to stay down a little bit sometimes. But it still works, so that's all that matters. And it's kind of a cool color, so I kept it. And I got it for like, I think $5, so whatever. It's not like crazy expensive. Um, next one. I don't have an original Big Duke, but I have the next best thing. It is a Mad Cats, actually, which is one of those brands that always made knockoff controllers, but some of them actually are really good. This one is a knockoff of the Big Duke. It is massive. This is a very big controller. I think compared to the Xbox One controller, I'll just grab one of those here. It was, even it's quite, quite big, like, so. But yeah, this one, this one works fine. And I think it's actually kind of a little bit see-through too, which is kind of cool. So yeah, that's that one. Moving on to 360. I actually only have one 360 controller. And the only reason I bought it was to use it on my PC because I don't have a 360. Not yet, at least. Uh, it's just a basic black, uh, it's a wired controller, but it's just USB, so you can use it on your PC or wherever. Unfortunately, I can't use it on the Switch, which would have been kind of nice. I mean, just like a Pro Controller, yeah? but that's okay. Put this one back. Moving on to Xbox One. I got two original black one is from the original. I can't find the camera. One is, one is the original, from the original Xbox One, like the big fat one. It doesn't even have a headphone jack on the bottom. You have to use an adapter. That one is. That's one of them. And then I have another black one, which has the headphone jack. It's just a little bit more updated. They're just the basic black ones, ones you get with the consoles. And then I have my, uh, it's kind of like an olive drab green, I guess. I have my extended thumbsticks on it. This is the one I got with my uh, Battlefield 1 uh, Special Edition Xbox One S. The Xbox is actually the same color as this controller, so that's kind of cool. Um, this is the one I use all the time, so this is my, my personal controller that only I use. 
Moving on to PlayStation. We're gonna do the same thing again, just from PS1, then we'll go all the way to PS3. I don't have PS4, so I don't have any of those controllers. Uh, first controller, I have one controller for PS1. It actually is the controller that it's not, it's not even DualShock, it's the before that, like the, the ones you have to do that use just the D-pad. It's this one right here. Very, very basic controller. Very light. Has basically nothing in it, so. But yeah, it works fine, and it's, it's a nice little controller. Moving on to PS2 controllers. First, first one I got for that is this knockoff wired controller. It is in white color. It looks almost identical to the actual PS2 brand ones. It just doesn't have uh, the logos and it just feels a little cheaper. Just cheaper plastic. Probably cheaper internals too, but it still works the same. And it's in perfect condition. I also have some, uh, well actually three, wireless PS2 controllers. And all you do is uh, sync this with a dongle that it comes with that plugs into the console itself, the PS2, and then you can just play wirelessly, which is awesome considering PS2, you always had the cords and it's just, they weren't really, well they were decently long, but they were, uh, it's not ideal. Wireless is always nicer. So, it's nice having three of those. I actually did an unboxing of two of them because I actually got them in the plastic. They were still sealed and they hadn't even been opened yet. So, if you guys want to check that video out, it'll be up, up top here and also down in the description. Moving on to PS3. We got two controllers. We got one wireless one. It's just, it's an actual Sony DualShock 3. Um... Uh, I'd say by far, if you can find these, go for the actual PS3 controllers because they're just so much better than anything else you can find. And then I also have a wired one. That was weird, a wired one. Uh, this one actually, surprisingly, it's not bad, actually. It's kind of weird having a wired controller for a PS3, especially that was the day and age where the wired stuff is just started getting phased out. But, um... Yeah, it's, it feels a little bigger. It's uh, silver. It has these weird flat sections on this side, which is kind of weird, but you get used to it after a while. And it, uh... But yeah, it's... It's a little bit larger, but... Your hands kind of get used to it. And the only other downside is... Or maybe upside, depending on how you like controllers. It doesn't have the same kind of buttons on the back as like the original PS3 stuff. It's more like the PS2 style where it's just right on top instead of being kind of squishy on the back where the other one, it goes down all the way like that. This one is just a button itself on top. So it's kind of preference like that. I don't, I don't mind it either way. So either way works for me. Moving on to Nintendo. Uh, start with GameCube. I have two GameCube controllers, one original, and then one knockoff. I used to have like four originals and one knockoff, but I sold all of those because I wanted, I think, Xbox One or something like that. So I traded them in. That was a bad idea. Should have kept them because they're hard to find now and they're more expensive. But yeah, I have one black wired controller. And then I also have one orange wire controller. This is the knockoff. Surprisingly, it's actually very, very close to the original size and the feel and everything, which is super awesome. It's just very stiff because it hasn't really been used. But yeah, it's it's very, very close. Like they're maybe within millimeters of different sizes. So I was happy about that when I found that because usually the knockoffs are just really small or some weird shape. I don't know. It's just, they're not always good. Uh, next controller is a couple controllers in one and you can 
do it different ways. It's the Switch Joy-Cons. Uh, these ones, you can do them... Singles, I guess. Playing games. As well, I have these uh, Joy-Con holders. Which you can just put the Joy-Con inside. And it gives you controller. So you can play like Mario Kart or... Uh, maybe Snipper Clips or maybe Bomberman or something. You can use just one Joy-Con for a controller. And that works actually really well. Now another way you can do it is uh, with this uh, Joy-Con grip thing. You can pop them on there and then you can just use that as a controller as well. And then you get more of a traditional style full controller. I I play it all the different kind of ways, so it's I don't know if I have a preferred way of playing it. Mostly I play in tablet mode actually on the Switch anyway, so then I don't use any of these. <laughs> uh, next controller is my Hori Pro controller, I guess you could call it. It's, it's called a Hori Pad, I think they call it. It is basically a Pro controller, a cheaper version of it, and it's wired. I made a video of this controller actually and did an unboxing for it. If you guys want to check that out as well, it'll be in the description down below as well. So um, yeah, it's actually a really good controller. It uh, doesn't have rumble, but I don't really care about that. I'm not a big fan of the rumble. I don't even notice it when I'm playing, so it's not a big deal. But yeah, it's a really good option if you're uh, going to spend that tons of money on that pro controller. So. That's that one. And I think the only controllers I have left are my uh, SNES Classic controllers. I got these actually very recently. I did a video unboxing of the SNES Classic. These controllers came with it. It came with two. Right there. There we go. Yeah. Came with two uh, SNES Classic controllers. And I, th for the most part, people think that they are pretty close to the original size. I don't know. I haven't really used uh, the originals, so I wouldn't really know. But they feel decently nice, I guess. They're a basic controller. Not many buttons, so... Uh, that's those. That is all my controllers, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. Also, if you want to get notified of my videos, hit that bell icon. And then you'll get notified when all my uh, videos are uploaded. And as always, guys, I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.